Appearing for the J1 visa process soon. This video has got you covered. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find tons of useful videos on the US visa process. So make sure to check out all of these videos. In this video, I'm going to cover the typical interview questions asked in the J1 visa interview and also my inputs on how you can answer them. So let's get started. The J1 visa, also known as the Exchange Visitor Visa, is typically given for people who want to participate in exchange programs in the US. These programs could be to study, it could be to teach, or to receive some specialized training. Now, irrespective of what your exact purpose is under J1 visa, uh, the interview questions that can be asked to you falls under three different categories. So let's get started and let's look at what are these interview questions. The first category is background and profile. And in background and profile, there are typically three questions which can be asked. The first question is a simple introduction such as, tell me about yourself. The second question is all the questions related to your academic track record. So here you could be asked which year did you graduate uh, in, which university did you graduate from, what was your CGPA, what was your field of study, what were the subjects that you studied and so on. And the third question under the background and profile section is all the questions related to your work profile. So each and everything about your work experience could be asked, which are the companies you work with, what was the duration, your designation, your salary, uh, your area of specialization, and so on. Now, all these seem like really easy, straightforward questions, right? After all, they're just asking about your background, your academic record and work experience. But you'll be surprised at how many students find it difficult to answer these questions on the day of the interview. And that's because many of us haven't attended an interview in a really long time. And also many of us haven't prepared proper formal introductions about ourselves. So, it's really important for you to prepare well for these questions. The answers should be concise, they should be well structured and give relevant information. And this is because the purpose of asking all the background and profile related questions to you in the interview is to check whether your background and your profile is a good fit for the J1 visa category that you're applying for. The second category is intent in the US. And the purpose of asking these questions is to see whether the program that you're applying for in the US is a good fit for you and also whether it makes sense for you to spend all the time, energy, money and travel all the way to the US for pursuing this particular program. So the questions that could be asked here are, why did you apply for this program? Now here you need to explain how this program is unique in the US and how it is not the same in your own home country. Second one could be, what do you intend to achieve or contribute from this program? Third question, how are you taking care of your housing and other expenses? Fourth, you could also be asked about your sponsorship details. And fifth, if your spouse is also traveling to you on a J2 visa, then questions could be directed to the spouse as well about their plan, about their intent of stay in the US. The third category is future plan. Now it is expected that once you finish your J1 course, uh, after the duration of the course, you will come back to your home country. And questions under future plan are basically asked to check this intent of yours, whether you really have plans of coming back or not. So the typical questions that are asked in this category are, what do you plan to do once you finish your program? What are the career prospects in your field, in your home country? Uh, what are the kind of salary compensation ranges that you can expect when you come back to your home country? And fourth, the same sort of questions can also be asked to your spouse to check what their future plans are. So these are the three categories in which most of the J1 interview questions falls under. Of course, the exact questions will depend upon what is your J1 category, what is the program that you're going for, and of course, your profile. If you want more videos on the J1 visa process, do comment below and let me know. And of course, if you have specific video topics in mind, let me know that as well. In the description box below, we also have a free PDF. So this is a document checklist for J1 visas, and this will help you in getting all the documents uh, ready for the process. So do click on the link and download your free PDF. For a more in-depth prep, you can book a one-to-one -one consultation session with me. And in this session, we will prepare you for all the possible interview questions as per your profile and also as per the embassy and the course that you're going for. So this will help you in structuring the answers, getting your documents ready, uh, getting your funding plan in place and lots more. And you can also take a mock interview with me. So this mock interview is very similar to the actual visa interview. This will be done on a video call and this will give you a feel of the real interview before the D-Day. And it's a great way 
to get your answers proof checked and to build your confidence so details of all of these uh, sessions is in the description box below make sure to check it out and like i said i have more videos coming up in the jeevan visa series so stay tuned stay subscribed and hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next one signing off for now bye